In this video, we're going to take a look at a piece of hardware that supposedly you can use to install a beam for a patio roof. And I'm not 100% convinced that every engineer is going to allow something like this. Or even more important, that it's going to be a fast install without a future roof leak. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at what might be more standard construction. So let's go ahead and remove the sheathing so that we can take a look at the roof trusses along with the framing plates. Now here we have a 2x6 wall and I would think that no matter where you placed these, even if you placed it over the header of a window or a door and you weren't going to be installing a heavy beam, I would think you wouldn't have a problem with this method. And of course we have full bearing on the framing plates. But that might not be the case if we have a 2x4 wall. Now I'm not going to get into the design of this. I really don't know much about how something like this would replace a full post. For example, here we're going to have a hinge point where over here we are not. So if we have a solid post, then obviously we're going to have to install roof flashing around it and probably use a strap to connect the two walls together and remove either the interior or exterior covering. Probably going to remove the interior drywall, going to be easier to fix, to install a full-length post without a hinge point. And where I live in Southern California, they're probably going to want to see something like this, and probably not going to approve something like this. However, don't shoot the messenger. It might be approved, and might even be approved if it's not full bearing something like this and what also seems to be the situation in the video short that the people made to promote their product because you can actually see the ceiling drywall or plaster and a section of this is actually sitting on it at least that's what it appears to look like let me know in the comment area if you disagree so again i don't know if this thing has to be full bearing but i do think you're going to need a larger hole so that you can install the bolts over here. But again, maybe you don't. So I think the best thing that I could suggest would be to check with your local building department before purchasing any products on the internet to make sure that they're approved in your area. And I wouldn't have made the video if it didn't have so many thumbs up. A lot of people like to see fast and easy, but that doesn't always mean it's going to last a long time or provide you with problems in the future. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.